temperatures have been in the single digits for almost 24 hours now. Add the snow falling and it's making for some dangerous conditions. Blake Mayfield is here with a look at how folks are coping and a warning from doctors. Blake? Even before today, St. Charles Bend had already seen an increase in injuries related to falls on the ice. It's why doctors offer advice about staying safe in the severe cold. With the temperatures dropping and the holiday season heating up, folks in Central Oregon are combating the cold weather as best they can. Some even spend the ice cold day on the ice. At the pavilion in Bend, they do have ways to help keep you warm. I think with everyone, we try to just be proactive during all of our holiday skates and open skates. We have rink monitors on the ice. Those rink monitors are there to help folks. Um, always remind people it's okay to go inside for a bit. Um, we've got hot chocolate and fresh baked cookies here, so something to warm up and enjoy the holiday spirit with. While some people enjoy the ice on a rink, ice in your driveway or on a sidewalk can be dangerous. St. Charles Bend reports that 179 people visited their emergency clinic in November due to concerns about falling on ice. That number is significantly higher than a total of nine people last November. At Mosaic Medical, Dr. Mark Press has a simple tip if you're new to slippery surfaces. I'm not sure I can put a number on it, but uh, people are falling and getting hurt, and so uh, using good shoes, trying to be mindful of your footing, and I think that the, uh, one of the posters I see in Central Oregon is walk like a penguin is uh, good sound advice. A main key to not exposing yourself to something like heat stroke is the same thing you can do to prevent frost nip, frost bite, and hypothermia. Stay hydrated. Um, all day long, you know, you don't think about hydrating in the winter time as much as the summertime, but your body needs hydration and it actually helps you um, with the cold elements as well. From October until last week, St. Charles Bend has had 347 total visits for injuries related to falling on ice this year. This is again much higher than last year when they had a total of 437 for the entire season of October through March. Blake Mayfield, New Channel 21. Tonight we're asking, have you or a family member fallen on the ice this year? To weigh in, head over to our web poll on the KTVZ.com homepage. You can vote on previous polls on our polls page, which you'll find under the News tab.